I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. 90% of the people want background checks. Over 60% want a ban on assault weapons. 80% plus want red flag laws. And um, I would venture to say those numbers would be similar for storage laws and for licensing laws regarding uh, the question of firearms and ammunition. And finally, interestingly enough, Americans support the buyback program, which all of us could have in our respective communities. Like, this ain't even funny anymore. <laughs> there used to be a time in this country where politicians would get up in front of the cameras and, and just say the dumbest things about guns. And they'd be pretty funny because it's like, <laughs> look at you, moron. You know nothing about what you're talking about. This is just stupid. Like, really stupid. The, the heaviest AR that I own weighs literally 10 pounds. Not 10 boxes, 10 pounds. Now, to most AR owners, that's actually pretty heavy, but it ain't 10 boxes worth of heavy. And not only that, it shoots a 22 caliber bullet, not a 50 caliber bullet. But to be honest with you, I don't care if my rifle weighed a million pounds and shot a flesh-eating laser beam. It said the right of the people to keep and bear arms, not the right of the people to keep and bear what doesn't scare Sheila Jackson Lee. To be honest with you, as far as I'm concerned, if I had my way, I would con this would be considered malpractice. There isn't a profession on the planet that we allow this level of idiocy when it comes to a particular issue, but yet we allow our politicians to get up here and pass legislation based on their stupidity. Are we, are we so far gone? Are we so far lost in our emotions that we can't think with a modicum of common sense? Seriously, you analogize the rifle to 10 boxes? We have access to instant information. It takes 10 seconds to get on Google and find out about anything you want. And yet we refuse to do that. And we allow, we continue to be mentally lazy and allow these people to dictate our feelings, our emotions, our thoughts and ideas on particular issues that are in, so important that they were enshrined in the second, not the third, not the fourth, not the fifth, but the second amendment, stop letting these idiots dictate the narrative of firearms. We, to be honest with you, we all have to stop letting these morons dictate the narrative of firearms. So as a result, for everyone out there, please contact your representatives, call, smoke signal, tweet, DM, I don't care, but let them know how you feel about this issue because this is getting ridiculous. And real honestly, I'm not surprised because what you had in the situation with Beto is he got up there and he ran his mouth and he exposed what we've all known for the longest, that their ultimate goal is to ban firearms. That is their ultimate goal. They start small and then try to go big later. But Beto got up there and just spewed a bunch of nonsense about taking people's guns outright. And they're only mad at him because he exposed their true plan. So as a result, now they're like, you know what? Cat's out of the bag. Let's go full board. Right now, there's a war against the Second Amendment which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by clicking the heart and share button and leaving a comment. Let my voice be your voice and let them know that you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your state-specific Keep America Tactical shirt, click the link under the Keep America Tactical in the description section of this video.